gotta be on the river of Ethiopia and it will come back to him. You will open the gather the remnant everywhere from the four corners. Hallelujah, praise the Zagarai chapter 13, verse 7. Awake, so against my shepherd, against the man that is close to me, declares the Uwa Almighty, strike the shepherd, and the sheep will be scattered. And I, Yahuwah, will turn my hand against the little ones. In the whole land, declares Yahuwah, two thirds will be struck down and perish. Yet one third will be left in it. This third, I, Yahuwah, will put into the fire. I will refine them like silver and test them like gold. They will call on my name. And I will answer them, I will say, they are my people, and they shall say, they will say, Yahuwah is our Almighty. Psalm chapter 9 verse 10 those who know your name trust in you for you Yahuwah have never forsaken those who seek you Hebrews chapter 11 verses 1 Now believe or Amuna is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Hallelujah. So we believe Yahushua is our Messiah and we have not seen yet. And Yahushua is the Barak are those that believe in Yahushua but have not seen Yahushua yet. So we believe and we are patiently waiting for our Savior. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> so we are patiently waiting. Now to go to five. It said by belief, by Amuna, by trust in Yahushua, Enoch was taken from this life so that he did not experience death. He could not be found because Yahuwah had taken him away. For before he was taken, he was commanded as one who pleased Yahuwah. Now this is what we need belief and us that in Yahushua we are to increase our belief and we are to turn many to righteousness to Yahushua the righteous, the righteous one of Israel Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 and with our belief which means for you to trust for you to know for you to nourish Yahushua as your everything and nourish Yahushua as the one that will take you through everything to where you're supposed to be, where you need to be, your final destination. And as a human being, your final destination is for you to be saved, for the inherit everlasting life for your creator to be pleased with you. And we'll do this by belief in Yahushua. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 And with our, with our belief it is impossible to please Yahuwah because anyone who comes to him must believe that Yah Haya and that Yah reward those who earnestly seek him We must believe that Yah Haya Yah is Yahushua. Once believe that Yahushua live. Yahushua said, Only you believe I'm He. You will die in your sins. We 
we believe that Yahushua, Hayah, Yahushua have life and Yahushua give us life. This is our belief that Yahushua is our message that save us, that take us through everything and anything. Hallelujah, praise the Precept as Yahushua commands us, his believers to read his words, precept upon precept, precept upon precept, lamp on lamp, lamp on lamp with understanding. There's another precept that Yahushua is Yah that take us, that created us, that save us from our sins, from tribulation, from, from temptation, from the evil one. Third in that chapter 4. Verse 6. Then three of the ministering angels, Uza, Aza, and Aza, Aza all, came and led church against me, Enoch, in the heavenly height. They said before the Quadash one, Paragbi Yah, Yahuwah of the universe, did not the primeval ones give you good advice when they said, Do not great men. The Quadash one, Barak Biya Yahushua, reply, I have made and will sustain him. I will carry and deliver him. Hallelujah, praise Yah. So Yahushua says, Those that are still carrying yoke, heavy yoke, they should come to him and take on Yahushua yoke. By you believe in Yahushua, you are righteous. By your belief in Yahushua, the righteous one, you are righteous. So that's the easy yoke. By belief, you are safe. By belief in Yahushua, the Almighty is pleased with you. Hallelujah, praise the Yahushua. 